There's no denying that the brand new ASUS ROG Ally is an incredible piece of gaming hardware, but it is extremely poorly set up out of the box from a software perspective. But not to fear, as right now, here are the seven essential steps that you need to take in order to optimize the Ally, including one particular step that will massively improve game performance. So let's dive right in with a crucial step one, and let's head straight over to the Windows Update settings. It's right here that you need to keep pressing update many times in a row until there are absolutely no more possible Windows updates available. This may take quite a while and require quite a few restarts, so stick with it. Next for step two, we need to head into the AMD software app and we need to update all the available drivers right here. Step three, we'll head to the My Asus app, register if you haven't done so already, and download all of the available updates right here. Again, this may require some time and some restarts, so stick with it. Eight weeks later. Let's now head into Armory Crate for step four and head into the Content tab, into the Update Center area, and then proceed to update all available settings in this section of the app. ASUS have pushed out an update today on June 16th that appears to have eliminated the crackling speaker issue that many of us have been struggling with, which is great news. For step five, while we're in Armory Crate, go into the Settings tab, the Operating Mode, then GPU Settings, and set this to Auto. And it's this particular step where you'll really notice a massive improvement in game performance. Next, we will search for the Windows Features area for step six and turn off Virtual Machine Platform. Then search for Core Isolation in Windows to disable this option. Doing this will give us a 10 to 20 frames per second boost as well. <laughs> Just bear in mind that when you turn off a virtual machine platform and core isolation, then it will force you to reset your pin when you log back in. You will have to click reset pin twice and then you'll be good to go. Unfortunately, it will also delete your fingerprint info as well. So you do need to search for the fingerprint in the Windows search bar and simply reset it. Your ROG Ally is now fully optimized. <laughs> So the final step seven is now simply to tinker around the video settings within each of your favorite games to find the sweet spot that works for you. If this tutorial helped you to optimize your ally, then be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons right now as we have so much amazing content planned right here on the channel, including many more tutorials, performance tests, guides to emulation, comparison vids to Steam Deck and Switch OLED, and so much more. And let us know in the comments your thoughts on the first few days with your ally. Have you run into any problems setting it up or has it been a generally a straightforward process? And also let us know what videos you want to see next on the ally. And as an extra bonus for watching right through to the end, I'd love to share a quote I came across recently that's great advice to help you in life. Never forget three types of people in your life. Those who helped you in your difficult times, those who left you in difficult times, and those who put you in those difficult times. Whatever you may be going through, stick close to those true friends who support us in the good times and the bad times. And if you'd like to know how I solved a major issue I had in setting up my ally using advice from one of our great viewers, then check this video out right now. As always, I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.